sit, 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 sit down. back up. Just because it's on the floor doesn't mean you have to come be in my face. No. <laughs> You're too close. <laughs> Can you say hi to everybody? What is this face? What are you doing? You like that? And your scratches? Nope, pack it up. Too close to me. Oh, cutie boy. All your fans are saying hi. Do you boop you? Come here. Boop, 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 boop. Ooh, my hands hurting. You've got boogies in your eyes. Please ignore my nails. My thumb won't come off. This is just watch Benny get scratches. Should we answer people's questions? Nope. Don't get too close. Then nobody can see you. Too close. Back up. Back up. Back it up. No. <laughs> you spoiled baby. We set up our Christmas tree real early. Don't mind those boxes. I'm going to use them as fake presents to put under the tree since there's like too much space there. But then he helped me. I tried to record a video of him helping me and it didn't turn out so well. So now I gotta figure out what video to post this week, which is why we're doing a live. Cause normally, what is this? Normally I would post a video today, but since it didn't really turn out, I'll do a, Benny. I'll do the live today and hopefully figure out what video I'm gonna make for him this week. Buddy. I can't record you this way. I got out of my lap. What are you, getting into the garbage? You wanna go sit out on the patio? Do you like the Christmas tree, buddy? Trying to eat it. That's what you were trying to do. Being a good boy. What is that? What was that? There's nobody out there. You 
want me to bark? No, back up. Back up. No. You're too close. Nobody can see you. Back up. I don't want your stinky butt. He's stinky. Hey! What? Get out of here, man. Just because I stopped petting you does not mean you need to bark at me. Oh, buddy, somebody got a Bernice because of us. Five months old, maybe they should come play with you. They can come bother you like you used to bother all the other dogs. <laughs> what is you look extra fluffy today? Or fuzzy, you look extra fuzzy. Hello. You're too close to me. Yeah, when his fur gets wet, he looks like his like, he's got little crimps in his hair around his ears. What do you hear out there? Let me go check it out. Okay, bye. What did you bring out here? Why is there garbage everywhere? Oh, Come here. Okay. Come on. Benny. Come on. No, come on. You don't need to be out there. Our neighbor's dog is on, are on their balcony, so we can't really go out there so they don't bark at each other. Stop. Stop. No, back it up. Is that what you were hearing? No, that's my coffee. Stop. Uh-uh. Ew, ew, no. <coughs> There's nobody here. Why are you freaking out? <coughs> Alright, he's being sassy. Please ignore the mess in the house. I'm currently trying to put up decorations and reorganize my office. So we're a little messy right now. You're too close to me. No, stop. Go to your bone. Go eat it. Do you want something out of here? Whoa. Look at all that. Whoa. Pick something out. Why is it so blurry? I'm sorry if this is blurry. I don't know what's why it's not focusing. There's nobody out there. Don't destroy that. He sometimes put his food in the little grass thing, so maybe he finds some old food in there. No, nobody's out there. Just surrounded with your toys.
Look at all these toys you forgot about. I knew he was gonna pick that one. Oh, right on the carrot. I think he forgets that he has toys, like all these toys in here, until I throw them everywhere. <coughs> what? Play with a toy. You go under the carpet, you sassy butt. He's so weird. You're so weird. He's like, I know you're recording me. What do you want me to do? You really don't want any of these? You don't want to play with any toys? Are you going to pick them all up? Gonna do something? They're all watching you. Or are you just gonna sleep? Well, I'm so sorry you lost your burner. It's so sad. We can answer any questions if you guys have any. I don't know if you'd care to just watch the pancake over here. Oh, I, I can imagine. I don't know what I'll do when, when we lose Benny. It'll be extra hard too because I'll have to tell everybody here on YouTube and like, we've gotten so many things for him, like we people have sent us drawings of him and like a necklace for him with his picture in it. So it'll be hard when we lose him. He's two. He turned two in June. Can Benny shake? Like like paw, like shake his paw. Um yeah he can. What does he weigh? 
Um, we just went to the vet. He was 102 pounds. They want him to go, they want him to be under 100. So he's been on a little bit of a diet. How's his hot spot? I think it's doing better. He hasn't been wearing his cone. Um, I can still smell it a little bit, but I think that might just be like his, his fur that's over there. I'm waiting to like touch it and cut the fur and like shave the fur off until like the hot spot's completely gone because I know it's sensitive and he doesn't like us touching it yet. How does then he do with separation anxiety? Um, he does fine. When we first got him, we were both like working. I would leave about eight hours a day. Um, he was probably home between six to eight hours, depending on the day. And he did fine. He, he prefers us home, but. And like now I work from home, but there are times where I'll leave during the day. And he still does fine, even though he's used to me being home now. Can he do tricks? He can, he can sit, lay down, paw, leave it. Nothing, nothing too crazy. <coughs> Stop, no one's here. <coughs> hey, hey. No, no one's here. You're okay. Good job protecting the family. We do have a GoPro. Um, we actually are looking into getting like the harness to like put the GoPro so he can like wear it. Um, that will be a video at some point. I just have to, <laughs> I have to remember to buy the harness. Again, ignore my nails, sorry. This, these won't come off. Was he hard to potty train? We got Benny at eight months, so I didn't have to potty train him. How much did he cost? When we bought him, we bought him off Craigslist from owners who couldn't care for him. So he was $700. They bought him for $2,000. Buddies. Yeah, my husband's always wanted one, but they're just so expensive. So when I found an eight month old Bernice Mountain Dog on Craigslist for 700, that was something you just can't pass up. Stop it. There is literally nobody out there. Since we moved to this new place, any noise he hears outside, he starts barking, which he never used to do that. I have not seen a great um, Bernice. I'm assuming that's like a great Dane mix. That would be one big dog though. <laughs> I'm surprised this carrot is still here. He's actually not too bad with his toys. Like he's had this since the day we got him. This came with his old owners, got him this. And he still has it, but I mean, it is falling apart. I just can't get rid of it because it was with his old owners. Oh, great Pyrenees and Bernice. I've seen a great Pyrenees. I've never seen the mix though. I could use one word to describe Bernice Mountain Dog, it'd be blue. My word would be needy. He likes to chew, like he's chewing on a bone right now. He likes to chew them on the carrot. You forgot about that one. That used to be his favorite chewy. I guess it was buried. I would move the carrot, but um, he's doing so good being by himself over there. And I don't want him to come closer to me because then I can't record him. Is he good with other dogs? Yeah, he's very good with other dogs. Um, he loves puppies. He loves smaller dogs. I just have to be 
careful because he is so big and heavy. And I don't want him to like squish them. But other than that, he's really good with them. Very good with puppies though. Just grab a different phone. <laughs> Oopsies. Yeah, you clean those teeth. He's had that one for a while too, that bone. We got it like the first few weeks of owning him, he's had that thing. Oh, I want to get a golden. I think our next dog will be a golden retriever. I've always wanted like a golden retriever puppy. And for our next dog, we do want like an actual puppy. He was eight months when we got him, but I would love to do a golden retriever puppy. We have thought about a Bernice Mountain Dog puppy that's still on our list, but we might want to try a golden next. Look at all that drool. And my uh, husband grew up with a golden. So I think it'd be nice to get one. Um, all his toys sit in this Coca-Cola container. Um, the bones do tend to sink to the bottom just because they're heavier. but I think once they're in here, he just forgets he has toys unless it's right on the top. He likes these bones though. This is his newest one. He has like a ton of them. They're full of stuff in them that he can like try to eat out. And then once the stuff's out, I put peanut butter in it and then I put it in the freezer. So it's harder to eat. See, the reason I think I wanna get a golden retriever though and not another Bernice even though I do love them and I would like another one at some point, um, they just are, you know, pricier and their life expectancy is not very long. Yeah, see, that's the other reason we're, like, debating about a uh, golden and a burner is that burner's personalities. I mean, I know golden has a, goldens have personalities, too, that are similar to burners, but burners are just so unique, and they're just so cuddly, and I think we'd be really sad if we didn't get another dog that, like, I mean, like, after him. Let's say he's gone if we didn't have a dog that, like, cuddled with us. No, don't come over here. I feel like if you are wanting like an ESA or any kind of service animal, you would want one. I mean, I'm all for rescuing and like saving dogs, but I feel like if you're gonna use them for something, you would really want one that is like you know how they're going to be. When you rescue a dog, they can have their own issues and it might be hard to make them an ESA or any service dog. But 
totally up to you. There's his paper phone. I don't know what you mean by puppy test. I feel like as long as, when you get a puppy, as long as you socialize them and train them right, they should be fine. Um, I live in Florida, so I know nothing about New York. Do you hear? You're all right. Keep eating your bone. I'm going to grab my coffee real quick. Okay. Just tried trimming up his paws. <laughs> They were really bad. I did not do a good job, but it's better than what it was. We have to board him next week, so I don't want him to be all looking crazy. Benny is two years old. Benny and nervous Brinnies. I think all Brinnies mountain dogs are just big scaredy cats. He's not afraid of the wind, but like he's afraid of a lot of stuff. I have a whole video of the things that he's afraid of. The video was recorded on separate days. It's so like one day I showed him like he's afraid of bubbles. I think when people think that because I posted that video and I have them all together, they think that I just like tortured him with things all day. I didn't, <laughs> but he's afraid of bubbles. He's afraid of candles. Um, the tongs. He's afraid of the fart noise we make with our mouth. Would you get a black lab? Um, probably not. My cousin really likes big fluffy dogs. Um, not that we have anything against black labs, but we'll probably stick with big giant fluffy dogs. <laughs> he's very soft he's a very very soft dog I've owned growing up lots of different breeds oh my god you're crazy and I've never felt a more soft like a softer dog I'm trying to like keep up with your all your comments, sorry. I knew a family who had uh, a lab, such a sweet dog, but again, we definitely like the Bernice Mountain Dog, even though they are difficult. We like their um, personalities and how fluffy they are too. I'm sorry. If you ever see a burner, um, go and pet them. Of course, ask the owner, but maybe you'll get a chance to pet one. Does Benny have lots of allergies? Yes, I think that is a normal thing for Bernice Mountain Dogs. Um, they can have sensitive skin and allergies from what I've read. And I'm in like, I'm in like a Facebook group on, uh, <laughs> I'm in a Facebook group on Facebook, obviously. Um, for Bernice Mountain Dogs, and that has definitely helped a lot. I've learned a lot from that group. I think with any breed, if you join like a Facebook group of your breed, it definitely helps out a lot.
No, no. Hey, hey. Do not scratch that. Does Benny have a slow feeder? No, we used to put, Benny? No. Do not itch that. No, you don't have to come by me. You don't have to come over. <laughs> Go over there. Benny does not have a slow feeder. Um, he, we used to put like a ball in his bowl to kind of help him eat a little slower back in the day. Um, I've read you can feed your dog with one of these. It makes him like search for the food. He doesn't eat too fast anymore though. Benny will like, when he gets excited or nervous, he'll just start itching like crazy. What kind of training treats do you use? Um, I don't know. Anything that I buy from the store, really. I'm not like the best to ask for training <laughs> advice. What feed do you use for him? My burner refused to eat blue buffalo and now, um, I've heard actually a lot of bad things about blue buffalo and a lot of recalls, so I wouldn't use them. Um, we use, is it Mavericks, Mavericks, Merricks? Something like that. That's what we use. I believe it is a 4.5 star or a five star. We used to do a raw diet, which was my favorite thing to do for him, but it's just very expensive. I know I need to do live streams more. I've been a bit busy with my job, but I need to, I know I need to do them more. I feel like this was a good time to do it too. I, we or we hit like a hundred, like 120 people at one point. This thing was a dumb thing to buy. Sorry if like I'm moving around too much. shoes they're always everywhere you give Benny raw eggs for a shiny coat um, I do not I have given him raw egg before um, I don't really give him anything special for his coat it just looks like this he's just naturally beautiful <laughs> How long can Benny cuddle for before getting bored? Um, he, if, as long as you're scratching him, he'd probably lay with you like 24 seven. <laughs> if I remember, I will, I don't have a bag. I'll look it up and like maybe post a screenshot on his Instagram story for anybody's, in, whoever's interested in what food he eats. How are Benny's hot spots? They're doing better. He still tries to go at it, the one on his like butt area, but I think it's doing better. I think he has one on his back paw too now. Care to demonstrate. Um, the cuddling thing, not right now. I do have a video of like invading my dog's personal space. You can watch that one. He lets me just cuddle with him. Is his carrot his favorite toy? Um, no. His favorite toys are these things. They're like full of random crap. I, when this empties out, I'll put peanut butter in it. But he likes this. And then he likes this one too, which I need to get rid of because it's, it's looking sharp and gross. Um, he likes to eat the bones on top of the carrot though. He likes this thing because I put treats in it. <laughs> oh, so shaky, so sorry. I'm like recording this off my iPad. I'm really sorry. 
He's a good boy. Yeah, he is a good boy. Benny would love snow. He's seen snow. He doesn't care for it. He's a beach dog. Does he chew his feet a lot? I'm also having to stop my burner from over chewing on her dude claws. Um, sometimes he does chew at his paws. It depends on the season, I think, like when the allergies are really bad. I remember you saying he had a hot, he get hot, bleh. I remember you saying he got hot in the summer. He does get hot in the summer. I have not tried a cooling vest. Um, we keep our apartment pretty cool and he sleeps on the wood floor. Now that it's cooling down though, we can go on longer walks. Do not, don't, don't bark. Nobody's out there. I'm like trying to record his face, but then also be able to read what you guys are writing. He's here, he hears something. The maintenance person like has all their stuff in the garage underneath us. So like we, we hear a lot of like working down there. That's why he always keeps looking up because they're working on stuff. What's his favorite people food? Uh, oh man, he, he literally will eat anything. I'm not kidding, he'll, he'll eat anything. He'll eat lettuce. I give him lots of carrots. I freeze the carrots and let him eat that. Um, broccoli, I freeze the broccoli and let him eat it. He'll eat peas. That's a hard question because people ask me all the time, what's his favorite people food? He'll literally eat everything. How much does he bark? Um, when we first got him when he was eight months, he like never barked. Um, but since moving to this new place, we moved here, um, I think in July, he barks a lot at like everything, which he never used to do. Spenny loved to sleep in the bathroom. He does like to sleep in the bathroom butter on the dog. Um, I don't want to put butter on him. He'll probably eat it. Favorite toy? I just showed it. It's the uh, bat bone right there. teeth hard to keep clean? Uh, that's a hard question. I think his teeth are pretty clean. It's just the, let's see if he'll let me look at them. It's like these, that fang right there. The two bigger fangs get that like coloring and he won't let me brush his teeth. He absolutely hates it. Our vet, no, no, just because I touched you, you don't have to come by me. No, 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 no. Our vet suggested, who also owns a Bernice Mountain Dog, uh, suggested we get him like, and I'm not a big fan of raw hide bones but he said to get like the big big raw hide bone and like just let him go at it to help him like clean up his teeth a bit so that kind of has been helping i haven't seen like a uh i haven't seen him getting any worse since we started doing that is he cuddly yes he's very 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 cuddly this breed is known to be very cuddly Did you ever attempt to brush Benny's teeth? Yeah, we do have a video um, of us trying to brush his teeth for the first time. It didn't go so well. Is Benny scared of a lot of things? He is, he's scared of a lot, a lot of things. I think he knows I'm like recording him. Just cause I make so many videos with him. Like he knows when I bring out the camera. But normally he'd just like go to sleep right now. 
he's like on edge because he knows I'm doing something and I'm just talking to nobody so he's probably confused you messed up the carpet what time is it we've been on for a while They are definitely a lot of work. It's a very difficult dog. I did learn actually that Bernice Mountain Dogs are the only dogs with their own cancer foundation. Just because like cancer is a big thing with them. And I think the main reason they um, die is from cancer. Yeah, I heard, I read, or I learned that they are the only dog with their own cancer foundation. Oh, that's interesting. If you are follow us on Instagram, you should send me, um, send me that, the seaweed stuff to sprinkle on the spoon. Dude, why are you way over there? Yeah, I think cancer is the main cause of death in burners. Are there non-tricolor burners if they're mixed? Penny, nobody can see you. It's like I'm sick of this. I don't want to be on camera anymore. Benjamin. I told you, you would normally just be sleeping right now. Ignore my mess. I'm so sorry. I told you we were... we're I'm rearranging because I'm putting Christmas stuff up early. How do you get him used to water? My Benny hates water. Um, had water balloons. I think Benny would be afraid of water balloons. He, we just take him to the beach sometimes. We got him a life jacket and kind of had to force him out there. Um, my husband, or I guess Christian, he, he's been watching this person, this dog trainer, and they just said you kind of have to, what's the word? Like, you kind of just have to expose them to what they're afraid of enough, which is funny because I got so much backlash for, like, exposing him to bubbles. They're like, why are you, why are you, like, traumatizing him? Why are you abusing him? But this dog trainer said that you should expose them more to what they're afraid of so they learn to not be afraid of it. And not that he's afraid of water, but he's like afraid of the waves by the ocean. So we got him a life jacket and we're kind of like helping him learn how to swim because he's not the best at swimming. Um, but yeah, the more we've done it, um, he's gotten better at it. He likes going in the water. We have a pond by our house that he always tries to go into. Is Benny heavy to hold? Um, like with his leash? Like hold him back? Is that what you're asking? Does he go crazy when you play the piano? Um, no, I have some videos of like when Christian plays, he just lays pretty much right behind him while he plays the piano. It's not like he barks or anything while we play. Yeah, I got the worst comments. I get I get mean negative comments here and there, <clears throat> but I had every comment on that video. They were calling me a disgrace and I was Cruella de Vil and that I was abusing my dog because like I was blowing bubbles at him and you could tell he like didn't like it. He, he's strong. He is strong on the leash. It is good to train them early to not pull, which is why we have, here, his stuff's over here. We have this harness right here and it's got a front clip. Um, where is it? Yeah, I think this is the front. It's got a front clip. So this will clip and it'll clip by his chest. So when he would pull, it kind of forces him to like turn around. That helped a lot, but definitely train them not to pull at a younger age when they're not very strong 
because now like sometimes we'll be walking and he'll stop dead in his tracks to sniff something and it'll yank me back. Exactly. I think it's good too. I mean, obviously nothing that's dangerous to your dogs, but I'm not abusing him by blowing bubbles at him. Yeah, he's a little uneasy seeing bubbles, but I mean, the more I blow them, the more used to, he'll, he'll get used to them. Play Christmas music for Benny. I would um, here, but um, I'll get demonetized. <laughs> so I can't play Christmas music. But he's heard it. He's heard Christmas music before. Again, sorry for the mess. I'm currently rearranging my house. Could I sit and record you or are you gonna get up and try to sit in my lap? Stay. No, 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 stay, stay. No, stay, you don't need to sit in my lap. Thank you for joining us. Oh, he's got eye boogie. No, 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 stay. You're fine. You do not need to come in my lap. No, 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 stay. No, stay, stay, stay. Did Benny dress up for Halloween? Not this year, no, stay. No. Did Benny dress up for Halloween? Um, he's, he's so ready to pounce into my lap. <laughs> no. Benny, oh God, Benny. <sighs> Hi, okay, that was a bad idea. I can't sit with you, go lay down. He did dress up for a little bit. We used the same costume as last year. It was a minion. Um, I have a video of it on his, in, on his YouTube and a picture of it on Instagram. I didn't get him a new costume this year. He had his cone on from his hotspot. So I didn't, we didn't do, we didn't get a new one this year. How bad is shedding? Is it hard to maintain? Um, it's bad. The shedding is bad. We have a little robot vacuum that goes around like twice a day to kind of keep up with it. And then I'll have to vacuum like behind things. I would show you how bad it was. It was actually really bad today, but I just vacuumed. But you'll see like, they kind of clump into little balls and you'll just see these little clumps of balls all along right here. Or like it'll all like pile up here. Yeah, and that, that that video of like showing him what he doesn't like, like all the things he's afraid of, that was kind of one of our first, like our, hmm, it's an older video. So it was one of our first videos. And so I think I just wasn't used to all the comments. I'm used to them now. I know everyone, I like turned the comments off on that video for a while, but I'm used to it now. I know there's trolls out there that don't know anything. Someone commented recently on an older video where I think he was probably 80 pounds saying that he's an, he's um, obese and I need to be careful. And I was like, oh, thank you for being his pet. He's actually small for his breed. Not anymore, but he was. I would sit down with him, but he's just gonna try to lay in my lap. I'm so surprised you can leave shoes on the floor. Again, I'm so sorry. I told you we're cleaning. Um, he used to eat them. He actually ate a very expensive pair of shoes when we first got him. Um, I think he just outgrew it. But we used to like, that. we would never be able to do this. We'd have to put them away in here. He used to also like chew on like corners of the wall. He doesn't do it anymore. Does Benny grumble and talk a lot? He does. Um, he like, 
puffs and puffs when he like wants attention or something. <laughs> if he really wants something, he'll like bark at us like if he has to go poop. Other than that, this is him all day. He pretty much sleeps like this all day. Speaking of the robot vacuum, it actually just broke, which is why the fur has been so bad lately. We should be getting a new one, I think, soon. How does he indicate he had to go outside to the bathroom? Um, when we first got him, he literally would not tell us that he had to go to the bathroom. Um, I would just be like, oh, you haven't peed in a while. Let's take you out and he'll pee forever. If he has to poop really bad, he'll bark. He'll like completely like bark his head off. Um, now he still doesn't really tell me he has to go pee. Um, I just kind of take him out on like a routine. Like we take him out in the morning. I'll take him out twice in the morning because he'll go right, right when I wake up, I take him out. We feed him and like an hour later, I'll take him out to go poop. Um, and then he'll probably go out again around like three or four um but yeah he'll like he'll bark really loud if he has to poop how do you keep him cool in the heat i want to get one soon but i live in georgia so i'm worried well i live in florida um like the middle of florida on the east side though he does fine i mean you just have to be careful when it's like 97 degrees outside i'm not taking him out on long walks I'll take him to go pee in the morning. I'll try to get him on a walk like early morning or like late in the night when it's not hot. And then of course, keep your air on. Our air is usually at like 74, 75. And he just sleeps on the hardwood or in the bathroom. The bathroom gets the coldest. Oh, where am I? How is he with the Christmas tree? My Jack Russell loves to lay underneath on the tree skirt. <laughs> Um, this is his first Christmas tree ever. I was going to make a video of us putting it up together, which is why it's up so early, but this is our first Christmas tree. Um, he tried to eat it while I was like putting the stands together, but since it's been up, he has not like, he doesn't even care for it. And the video didn't turn out so well, so that's why we don't have a video yet. That's why I'm doing a live right now. I should have posted a video today and the video didn't turn out. Do you recommend on a particular vacuum? Um, I don't have much experience with vacuums. I love the robot vacuum. I think it helps so, so much. Oh, I can show you. I just had moved it because I'm moving things. This is our vacuum right now. Um, it does all right. I don't think this, I'm sure there's different, better brands. I just didn't want to spend a million dollars on a vacuum. Um, it does all right. It gets clogged real easily and I have to like pretty much fix that every day, every time I use it. The robot vacuum too, I have to like unclog every time I use it. But I guess that's just what happens when you have a burner. Did Benny have a baby gate? No, he did have a crate when we first got him. He came with a crate. Um, he had the crate, we got him at eight months. He had the crate until about 11 months when we got him neutered. And he had the big cone on and it was too big to fit in his crate. And so he hasn't been in the crate since that day. <laughs> okay, I need to find a charger. I'm going to set. I'm gonna try to set you guys up. I'm sorry if he moves. I'm gonna go get a charger for this.
No, 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 no. You can stay there. Lay down. I just had to plug myself in. Apparently, I can't sit down with him. I guess I'll sit. I'll sit up here. Sorry, I'm like plugged in now. I have to be a bit closer to the wall. We'll sit up here. Yeah, I just like, I like having the robot vacuum plus my vacuum because I do not want to vacuum every single day and I don't have time to. Um, so the robot vacuum helps just kind of like keep up with things. I'll do it like one to two times a day and then I'll go through and like really, really vacuum because the robot obviously cannot get underneath the couch, can't like get behind the piano. I do like the thinner one that I have because it's just easier to get behind things. You should have a stuffed toy size like a bear. <laughs> we do want to get like one of those giant um, stuffed animal bears just to see what he would do. Those are expensive though. How much exercise, exercise does he generally get? Mm, I can't put a time limit on it. It all also depends like on the how hot it is that day. Um, he gets a good morning walk. No, you, no, you're all right. You don't need to be right by me at all times. He gets a good morning walk and then like at night, he'll get some like off leash time outside. Do you think maybe sometime you could do a video on things you should know about a Bernice Mountain Dog? I do have a video I have two of them. I have one that's like reasons why you wouldn't want a Bernice Mountain Dog. I think that's what it's called. That video gets a lot of backlash. Um, but I kind of talk about like things that could be a con. Oh, somebody just donated. I didn't even see that. Where's that comment? Oh, it just came through. Thank you, you totally did not have to do that. <laughs> Where am I? Love from Switzerland. Ooh, buddy. Your homeland. I lost where I was in the comments. I'm so sorry. Hold on. Yes, I do have a video of like things that like could be a con to some people, like what they wouldn't like about a Bernice Mountain Dog. The video is not the reasons why I don't like a Bernice Mountain Dog. It's just recent things that have come up that I think like maybe that some people wouldn't want to get one because of this. I know a lot of people want to get burners for how they look and how cuddly they are, but uh, there's a lot that goes into this, this breed. So that video is just to kind of like explain that. And then I do have one on reasons why you should get a Bernice Mountain Dog and it's all the fun reasons on why you would want one. Where am I? That's nice, my burner's tired after one or two walks. Yeah, I feel like they don't need a lot of exercise. And like, I don't, they can have like hip dysplasia. That's a big part of them when they get older and like joint issues. So, I mean, they don't need to be going on, you know, miles and miles and miles of walks or like a hike. I don't think he would do good on a hike. <laughs> Sorry, my thing keeps like blurring out. Buddy, you're just way too close to me. I can't really record. Don't, don't. Don't go and scratch there. Did you ever think about getting a second one? Um, yes, we do want to get a second dog. I We do want to get another burner at some point, but we might get a golden as our next dog. This is literally like 
burner life right here. They have to be by you. I will, if I come sit here, he'll sit there. If I go sit at my desk, he'll be right there. If I get up to go to the bathroom for a little bit, he'll come and lay with me in the bathroom. Look at him. I think he likes sleeping around these things because they're probably cold. What? Why are you huffing? I feel like I should end the, the live soon, but there's so many of you still on here. Thirteen, wow, that's old. I mean, it's old for a burner. I don't know how long goldens live. Burners only live to like, I think they say like six to ten years, is the average. I think the average is eight. Some live, I've, I've seen some live to twelve and fourteen, but I mean, I, they say six to ten years. Oh yeah, so yeah, be careful with a the burner. They don't live very long. And they're very expensive, like to, with medical bills, I guess. We just got pet insurance for him. Benny is two. He turned two in June. He has seen snow. We're originally from Wisconsin. He's not. He's born and raised in Florida. Um, but he's come up to Wisconsin twice now. And both times have snowed. He doesn't care for it. I mean, he likes to eat, like, chunks of snow sometimes. But he doesn't really care about the snow. Can I have him? <laughs> Go get your own. Go get your own burner. My cousin just got a burner puppy. He's four, he's four months right now. Big old spaz. Buddy, everybody's watching you. A hundred people right now. A hundred people are watching you right now. And this is what you're doing. How often do you brush him? Mm, okay, I'm a really bad dog owner when it comes to brushing. I should be brushing him more. People tell me to brush him, they, that I should be brushing him every day. I don't have time to brush him every day. I try to do it at least once a week. Um, again, I really suck with brushing. I'll do a really good brushing when like he's having his blowouts. Otherwise, I'm not the best dog mom when it comes to brushing his hair. Sorry, buddies. We did just brush it though. He had a good brushing. No, I mean, they say to brush them more just to keep up with the shedding, but I really can't brush him once a day. There's no way. Plus, he wouldn't like it. He wouldn't like, I mean, not that he cares. He doesn't mind being brushed, but. When I do notice the shedding's getting really bad, though. He'll get a good brush. You were such a bum. Oh, I think I saw a comment about baths. I don't remember what it was. Somebody asked something about giving him a bath. Burners shouldn't get many baths. I've read twice a year they should get a bath um, just because of their, their skin and their coat. He doesn't get a bath often. He's actually very clean. He doesn't roll around in dirt. Um, I'll give him a bath when he is kind of dirty or if he goes swimming in the ocean. I want to get that uh, the salt off of him so he'll get like a good rinse. And then he does have like a shampoo that's supposed to help his skin because he does have skin problems. So when I notice he's very itchy, I'll go and use that just to help him out a bit. But he really doesn't need a bath that often. I don't know if anybody else who has a burner do you guys notice, he smells fine, like he smells good, but his face, do their faces have a weird smell to you? Cause I feel like his face just has a weird smell. It does not smell like the rest of him. 
it's just his face. And I've tried, he has like, ear, we have ear wipes to clean out his nasty ears. Uh, and they're, they're for his like face too. I've used it on his face and his face just, not that it smells bad, it just smells weird. Would you recommend me training our, our new Bernice Mountain Dog when she arrives or should I send her to a trainer? Um, that's all depends on you. I think it would have been nice if he had a trainer, especially with how difficult he was when we got him because his old owners did not train him that much, I don't think. And switching homes, like he was a very anxious guy and the medical issue he had in the beginning. Um, it would have been nice to send him to a trainer. You'd probably get better luck sending them to a trainer, but that's all on you. You guys deserve more hype and less hate. <laughs> Thank you. That's very sweet. Our pup's face smells kind of odd. It like doesn't smell bad. It just, it doesn't smell like what his, from the neck down. Like this all smells good and different than what his face smells like. It's not his breath. It's not his breath. It's literally like his fur. Who does Benny want to have for president? Um, he's going to run for president. Where does Benny sleep? Do you guys do anything special to help him cool or does he just sploot wherever? <laughs> um, he sleeps by the front door usually at night or in our bathroom. But that's the spot he sleeps usually, bathroom, and then right by my um, desk. Like I said, it doesn't smell bad and it doesn't smell dirty. It just like has its own smell. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> kind of like that puppy smell. You know how like puppy smell when you first get them? That's what his face kind of smells like. And then his ears just always stink, the inside of his ears because of all the buildup. But that's just because we have to wipe them out often. Thank you for joining the stream. Thanks for all the questions. I hope we answered them good enough. I'm just so surprised at how many people are still watching. It might end soon though because my arms are kind of hurting from holding this iPad like this <laughs> and I'm getting hungry. Does he sleep with you? Uh, no, he does like to come and cuddle every morning and every night before bed. But as soon as we stop petting him, he gets hot and he goes and lays down. You are a lazy bum. <laughs> I would sit down next to you so we can look at your face, but you'll just get up. Oh, stretch. That got kind of quiet. Okay, we probably will end soon. So if anybody has any last questions or comments, I can quickly answer them.
Does he play a lot? He does. During the day, he does this. He sleeps. But, like, when Christian gets home, he's ready to play. He wants to go run around and be crazy. How big is he? He's 100 pounds right now. Boy, right, buddies? Does he behave well around other dogs when he's off leash? Um, normally, yeah. A lot of times he'll like come and sit by me and just stare at the dog, waiting for me to say that it's okay. Um, there are a few times where he like can't control himself and he'll go run over to them, but he's usually pretty good about it. And if I see like a dog coming our way, I'll like go the other way just to like avoid any conflict. <laughs> yes, thank you. Thank you for joining. Does he still like to smell people's breath? Yep. He still does that. <laughs> I actually tell people when, like when they come over if they're new and they don't know about it I feel like he won't leave them alone until they do it and I and I have to like tell them like I'm really sorry but he'll leave you alone if you just let him smell your mouth did you have to train him to stay near you in off leash or is or is he pretty naturally good at it oh no we had to train him we had to train him to be off leash I mean he not like he really goes that far Anyways, he likes to stay by us, but we did have to train him. Just like if you watch that uh, video of us walking, like with the sunset as the thumbnail, we are working on trying to keep him off of that grass just on that in that area because there are a lot of uh, a lot of burrs, a lot of long grass, and like we have snakes here and ticks and stuff. So for that walk, he is learning how to stay off of that grass unless he has to like poop or something but he's doing pretty good with it too he's good he's good at listening he's stubborn and he knows like he'll try to you know do something wrong but as soon as i'm like benny he'll be like oh yeah and get off but he's smart he's he'll he'll try to push push past it <laughs> Do you need to do you wait, do you need to make him wear anything during winters, or he does not need it? Um, we live in Florida, so the coldest it'll get here is like 40s, 30s Fahrenheit. Um, he does not need to anything special for winter. In Wisconsin, when it's like cold and like snowy, he, I don't think he he's a win, he's like snow dog. He doesn't need anything. I don't really like that question. And no, we do not hurt our dog. Benny just wants his life anxious, I think. <laughs> anxious or uh, excited. I always say that's probably why they don't live very long. They're just anxious dogs. No, we, we do not hurt Benny. I don't think he would be constantly be by me if we did. Is there anything you would change about him? Oh, that's a good question. Um, mm, there's a few things, I guess. Maybe not with him for this answer, but I would have changed, I would have liked to have him earlier, like as an actual puppy. So I could have trained him the way I wanted to. And we probably would have skipped over 
you know, he has some difficulties because of how he, like, where he came from, but, and how he kind of grew up and all his little medical issues in the beginning, I would have changed all that. I think he would have, he would be better. He wouldn't be as anxious, I don't think, now. Um, easier to train. And personality-wise, I would probably change the fact that he, like, loves to eat paper and like gets in the garbage and we'll eat our toilet paper. I would change that. <laughs> what does he eat? Um, I answered this question already. He eats um, a dry dog food brand. Oh, I forget the name. It's like Maverick or Merrick's Maverick, something like that. I told the person, if I remember, I will try to look it up and post it on his Instagram story for anybody who's asking. They have a raw infused version too. We tried it for a while. He really, really liked it, but he started gaining a lot of weight on it. Um, Benny, how old is your burner, by the way? And Benny pants all the time. Jack's either in pain or scared. It's very odd. Hmm. Benny, Benny pants still, but like he used to pant all the time and he always seemed uncomfortable. It turns out he had an enlarged prostate, but that wouldn't be your case with a female. I would take her to the vet. Um, hmm. Yeah, we like, they kept saying he had a UTI. So we got cultured, we got x-rays, we had an ultrasound. We spent so much money trying to figure it out. Turns out all he needed was to be neutered. and Everything's fine now. With yours, I don't know. I don't have a female. I would look into a good vet. I just found a vet, our other vet knew nothing about a burner. I just found a vet who owns a Bernice Mountain Dog and has been very helpful. Do you have or had you had other pets other than him? I grew up with lots of pets, lots of different dogs, lots of different cats, hamsters, blah, 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 all that, all that stuff. But me and Christian, this is our first dog together, our first pet together. Um, he likes his butt scratched. Please cuddle him. If I go down there, he's gonna wanna like lay on me and then I can't record him. Yeah, definitely find a good vet that like actually knows about a Bernice Mountain Dog. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Benny will pant and like sometimes he'll even bark at us just to be like, to get attention. I'm really sorry too that all you guys get to see is like this angle. I'm like charging my iPad right now and he'll move if I like go sit by him. Oh, good morning. Has he ever been attacked? He has, yeah. He's been attacked one time pretty bad. The second time, not as bad, but like still was in there. And then the third time, like was very close to being attacked. Oh, I know at one point, like he would, as soon as we'd wake up in the morning, he knew we were awake, he would like come and bother us and act like he had to go to the bathroom. Like, and let's say like we woke up at like five in the morning. It's not time to like get up and go to the bathroom. But if he knows we're awake, he would come running in acting like it. So like we would be so quiet. That was back when he was younger. He doesn't do that now. He likes his sleep. He will sleep until like eight o'clock. Hmm. Let's see. I'm trying not to fall behind on these. What are you doing? I am recording my dog at the moment.
Yeah, exactly. Like, and we live in the South and I don't think they're very common down here. The vet like didn't know anything about this breed. And so like I, and they were overcharging us big time. So I started looking for a new vet and I actually found one who owns a Bernice Mountain Dog and things have been way better. It's like you don't know this breed until you've actually owned one. That's hard. Make sure you um, get pet insurance. We just got pet insurance. Um, it won't cover any pre-existing conditions. Um, our vet actually though has been working with us um, and she even said that she'll like wait for our, our insurance to fully kick in and we might get him on like some anxiety medication. I just got a burner bubble. Congratulations and good luck with the baby shark. What's something he does that melts your heart every time? Oh my gosh, literally just him existing. <laughs> I know I actually do like when we're like laying in bed Ooh, my voice cracked. sorry when we're laying in bed and you he wants attention he'll like what's blurry oh so sorry focus focus he'll like put his face down like between like something so like his face looks squished and like mostly you just see his nose and his eyes oh he looks so cute he's just the cutie boy hold on I'm so sorry I'm gonna have to set this down like this real quick I have to go grab my phone that's blowing up. Yeah, I actually was debating about getting pet insurance. Um, but I'm so happy. Like we just got it. Um, he's two now. We just got it and it's already helped. We've just went to the vet and spent $300 and um, we're getting 88% of that back. One second again, I'm just gonna go get something to drink. I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> sitting on here for forever and I'm so thirsty. Um, we had a, a Yorkie growing up and they are hypoallergenic if you wanted to try that. Hey lady, play with your dog. I do play with my dog, don't worry. You definitely need some drink. <laughs> I had, I'm getting hungry too. But we've got, we still got a lot of people on here, so. Have you ever thought of doing proper vlogging of your life or just want to continue this channel? Um, we did try doing vlogs we tried changing the channel up at the beginning of the year. And, okay. Sorry, buddy. You're gonna have to go. Um, and it didn't do so well. We lost a lot of subscribers. So I did put it back to Benny's channel and we have a personal channel. Um, I haven't been able to post on it recently. I did just post like a scuba diving video on it if you're interested and we do have vlogs that we've done on there. Um, I should get back into that channel, but 
it really doesn't have that many subscribers. So that's why I'm like, oh, maybe people just don't really care about our lives. Um, but yeah, I can try to post more vlogs. It's just, I've been pretty busy with this channel and work. Is Benny the only dog you have? Yes. I think you guys, I, if I had another dog, they would be right here. It, it wouldn't just be the Benny Burner channel. Though I have thought about it. If we did get another dog, do I keep it as Benny Burner or what would his channel be? <laughs> the drive through video. That was actually very fun to do and interesting. We almost thought about like going to places and just ordering like that just because it was fun to try new things. That was a fun video. If you get another dog, what dog breed would you get? Um, we do want another burner at some point, but I think my next dog, I want a golden retriever. He doesn't need to wake up. This is what he does during the day. He needs to sleep. I'm really sorry if I sound like I have a lisp too. I just got, okay, I didn't just get it. I'm on my seventh week. Um, I have invisible braces on. And so I feel like it makes me talk funny. Yeah, I've seen a lot of people owning Bernice Mountain Dogs with Goldens. Um, and they do really well on Goldens. My husband grew up with a Golden and they're very, they're pretty similar to the temperament of a Bernice. How does he react to the vacuum? Um, he does not like the handheld vacuum. He runs away and he avoids the robot vacuum. Like if it starts coming towards him, he'll like walk away from it. My iPad is getting so hot. I think I can unplug it for a little bit. Are you employed? I am employed, yes. I also do uh, make money off this channel, but that's besides the fact. Do you have a Twitter for Benny? I did, but um, I'm not good at keeping up with it. I got rid of Twitter a really long time ago, so okay, I'm gonna try sitting. Hopefully he doesn't get up. His tail's wagging already. No, you can lay there. You do not have to get up just because I sit down. Look at it, look at his tail. He's gonna get up and come land on me. We're all right. He does have a Facebook though. Again, I'm not the best at keeping up with it, but he does have an Instagram. I do a little better with keeping up with his Instagram. I'm sorry, my work has been kind of crazy. Um, it's slowed down a little bit, so I can focus a little bit more on his channel. Oh my gosh, we've been on here forever. People are liking this live. Yeah, Instagram is kind of the, the way to go. Oh, I'm sorry, we don't, we're not talking about uh, politics on this channel. But you're so lazy today. Oh, there's different effects on here put you in black and white. <laughs> His cone, 
he still has it. He's doing better. So far he hasn't like gone to scratch the hot spot. So I've been letting him not have it on. I put it on him if I like, if he's home alone. No, I just actually realized that it had, you could change it, dance party. Oh, that's funny. Do you have, have you enabled super chats? We have, yes, they are up. No one has to use them though, like you do not have to do that. <laughs> it's very appreciated, but you for sure do not have to do it. I just found this channel, oh, well, welcome. Oh my gosh, let me turn this, oopsie, sorry, let me turn it back to normal. <laughs> Does he get in trouble a lot? Hey, Bunny. I don't know what he's chewing at. That better just be your leg. Hey, stop. No, 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 I didn't mean that. No, 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 back up. No. You spilled my drink over, man. Back up. You're too close to me. I can't record you. He does get in trouble, yes. Yeah. He's naughty. Why don't you come play with all these toys I pulled out for you? Oh, don't spill my drink. Super Cooper, where are you going? I thought you were gonna come lay over here. We hit it like- <laughs> Oh my gosh, I still have my back up as I have my Christmas tree. Hey, hey, there's nobody out there. No, you're all right. There's no one out there. You don't need a bark. Yeah, Super Cooper, we love watching them. We definitely get lots of ideas from them. They're a good inspiration. Tommy's a good boy for me. Oh, he's always a good boy. Just naughty sometimes. Stubborn. Just because you hear one little noise or somebody walking up the stairs doesn't mean you have to bark, okay? We know you're not tough. Hmm. It'd be fun. He would... He would look so... Naughty though, compared to them, they're so well behaved, and he would probably be like a complete spaz. He's getting his butt scratched. You like your butt scratched? I feel good. Your butt just gets so itchy. No, don't bark. Don't. You're all right. If you got another Bernice, would you get a male or female? Um, it doesn't matter, I guess. I heard females are a little more independent. Still cuddly, but like maybe a little less needy is what I've heard. Um, I wouldn't care either way. How old is Benny? He is two. Come on, let's go sit over here. You want your bone? Look, go get it. Don't, don't bark. Hey, you're all right. Don't come up here, no, no, no. <laughs> no, don't leave, stay over here. There you go. That's a good compromise. Ignore the shoes. can't always be perfect on YouTube. Sometimes your house is a little messy. Yeah, I think we hit 120 at some point. 95 minutes. That's how long we've been on, oh my God. How heavy does he weigh? He's 100, 100 pounds. 
there are more subscribers. Thank you. We're slowly growing. We're growing. We're getting there. We actually just hit our year of being on YouTube. I think it was September 1st or October 1st. One of those two. Um, and I remember like our first few weeks on YouTube. I think September 1st when we got monetized. We hit like 5,000 subscribers. And I like a memory just came up being so excited for 5,000 subscribers. And now we're almost at 30. Can you do any cool tricks? Cool? No. Can he sit and stay and leave it? Yes. And do paw. No, no, come back. Come here. Hey. Don't leave. Just inching closer to the door. Sorry, I'm gonna keep leaving my phone. Maybe your dad will be home soon. Nope. What? What's with that face? <laughs> Buddy. Oh, buddies. Oh my gosh. They are. They are so smart. That's why they get in so much trouble. It is 3.40 here. I think he's just sick of me recording him. He's confused at what he should be doing. He wants to just go and sleep and I keep talking and bothering him. Mom, why, why do you keep recording me? Advice you would give a new dog owner. Um, lots of patience. It takes a while. I'm so sorry for your loss. Hey, you all right? Got the hiccups? And he's not in the mood. He's not. He's like, I've been on here for so long. Can you stop recording me? Uh, is he more lazy or energetic? Normally. I would say if you're going by like, let's say the day, he is usually lazy. Like they're just couch potatoes and they just want to cuddle all day. He does get bursts of energy and it's usually when Christian comes home, he all of a sudden has so much energy and sometimes we'll take him outside and he'll like run around like crazy. But he usually, this is usually what he does. He'll usually sleep. As a puppy, when he was young, like under one years old, he was a complete spaz all the time puppies but i think that's a, that's a normal puppy thing they're just spazzes who does he like more um i think he likes both of us equal i think him and i have like a special bond just because i'm with him more He loves Christian. Minus five months and she's crazy. Oh, don't worry. It gets worse too because they'll hit their teenage phase at like eight months. Oh, and they're horrible. They so stubborn, so naughty. Gosh, we're getting so many questions now. As I said, I was about to go. <laughs> now everyone's here again. What made you pick Benny? Um, my husband has always wanted a Bernice Mountain Dog. I had just been, we weren't ready for a dog yet, but like I just constantly looked at them because we had just moved cross country. And so we moved like 1200 miles from our, where we grew up. And he, my husband worked a lot and I was just kind of lonely. So I was just, I was always looking for dogs and I looked on Craigslist and he popped up. And I was like, okay, well, I guess we're going to have to do this now. 
How do you choose between, how did you choose between getting a male or a female Bernice when you got Benny? Um, I didn't have to choose between male or female because it was just him listed on Craigslist. <laughs> Your favorite, favorite memory with Benny. Oh my gosh. Ugh. I don't know. Favorite memory. I like, and th there's a video of it on his Instagram. If you look at, if you go to his Instagram and go to like the highlights, I think it's the beach one. It's like we took him to the beach for the first time and didn't realize he didn't know how to swim. I just, I don't know. I thought dogs just always knew how to swim. I guess it makes sense. You'd have to train them. But we threw a stick in the ocean and he went for it. And him swimming back is so, so funny. He does not know how to swim. I don't know if that's my favorite memory that just came to mind. I don't know what my favorite memory is of him. It's hard because we have so many YouTube videos. So we just have like all these memories that will always be there. I could pick like my favorite video. My favorite YouTube video of him is the first uh, beach video of him. That's actually the start of his, the song I use in his like, his intro. That song was first used in that video. But he still has carrot, yeah, right here. There he is, I don't know what that coloring is. I don't know what happened. He's got, oh, he's got a little hole up there. He's still there though. Benjamin, you look like a pancake. You sick of this video? We've been out a really long time. It's like the longest live we've ever done. He's just staring. I think he's falling asleep. But every time I talk, he thinks I'm talking to him. We might have to end the live soon, guys. some things I gotta go do. What is he allergic to? Everything. I don't know. Stuff outside. Seasonal allergies. Yeah, see, that's what he's probably feeling right now. Just stop talking. I'm trying to sleep. Back at a hundred people. It's so hard to end it when there's so many of you here still. It's crazy that there's a hundred people just watching a sleeping dog.
Well, thank you for um, joining us and watching our video. Sorry if we kept you up. My boyfriend and I are thinking about getting a Bernice. Any tips on where to get one? I would join a, a Facebook group, a Bernice Mountain Dog Facebook group. They always know where to get them. Um, I got Benny off Craigslist, so I can't really help you with that. Is there any schedule for live stream or is it random? Um, it's random, it's very random. I used to do it more, especially like when quarantine started. I used to do it a lot more. Um, I've been really busy. My schedule has cleared up a lot, so I can try, I could try to do a schedule live stream. Um, I'll usually try to post on his Instagram like an hour or two before I do it. Cause usually I just like, if I have the time, I think about it. I'm like, oh, I should, I should just do a live stream real quick. And I'll put like a countdown on his Instagram. It's usually like an hour beforehand. I can try. I can try to kind of come. I can try to come up with the schedule. Usually, I, and usually Wednesdays are when I post his YouTube video. But like I said, I had recorded one and it didn't turn out, and so I didn't have anything to post today. So I, that's why I thought of doing a live stream. So I don't know. I should have a video out tomorrow, hopefully, like a normal video. And next week might be a little hard too because we're going out of town and he won't be with us, so. Um, I believe it's Benny Burner 19. If you want to go on his Instagram. Who's your favorite singer? Hmm. I don't think I have a favorite singer. I like all different types of music. But I don't think I have like a favorite. I don't have a favorite singer. Also, all our links to everything are usually in the descriptions of like all our videos. So if you want to follow his Instagram or my TikTok, our other YouTube channel, um, we have our own Instagram too. You can go follow all that stuff there. It might be in the description of this video, but I'm not 100% sure. quick enough <laughs> I was actually just thinking that like I should just leave now before more people come back that's probably a good idea I should probably go <laughs> well thank you guys all for joining I can't believe how many people joined this live stream and how long we 
did this stream for. Definitely follow us on his Instagram. I will try to post when we do another live stream and that's usually where I post updates. So definitely follow his Instagram. But yeah, thank you for joining. Thank you for all the love and support you guys give us. Um, and we'll see you next time. Boys, you say bye. Oh, say bye, buddy. Cutie boy. You can go to sleep now. <laughs>